Welcome back, agents. The Foundation is known for housing various reality vendors and self-proclaimed deities. The entry we will explore today examines what may be the most famous of these anomalies. Item number SCP-343, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-343 resides in a 6.1 meter by 6.1 meter, 20 feet by 20 feet, room at minimal security site 17. It should be brought any items it requests and visited by at least one staff member each day. Attempts to add further safety precautions or require clearances are unnecessary, impossible, due to the nature of SCP-343. See Description Description SCP-343 is a male, seemingly raceless, humanoid in appearance, with apparent omnipotence. SCP-343 was discovered walking the streets of Prague and detained after a staff member witnessed him disappear from the streets and reappear on a rooftop. SCP-343 is detained willingly in his chamber, as containment has proven impossible. See notes. Addendum 343-1 SCP-343, colloquially nicknamed God by the staff here, looks like an older man, although his features are different from each observer. In my first talk with him, he claimed outright to be the creator of the universe. When I asked him to prove this, he laughed, walked through the wall of the chamber, and returned seconds later with a hamburger in his hand. When I returned for a second visit, the previously bare cell had been furnished in upscale Old English style, complete with a roaring fireplace, and seen many times larger than it did from the exterior. SCP-343 greatly enjoys speaking with people, and seems to have knowledge of all topics. Visiting with SCP-343 has become a daily event for many of the staff here, and all employees report feeling generally happier after each visit. Attempts to bar staff below level 3 clearance have proven unsuccessful as guards assigned to watch the room with their posts, saying, you know he likes company, or simply shrugging when questioned. Since SCP-343 has thus far been harmless, all staff have been allowed access, and somehow, they all have time to meet with him for as long as they need to. For now, I leave this report open, as further questioning of SCP-343 is ongoing. Dr. Beck Warning a cell dash 4 or higher needed for further access. Addendum 343-2 In regards to document 343-1A, there are no relevant records available, all seemingly in existence and, similarly, all records of Dr. ever working with SCP-343 or Dr. Beck are missing and presumed non-existent. All staff questioned about the document convey ignorance of document 343-1A and claim not to have met the doctor. In a related matter, Senior Officer Dr. Beck has requested a higher staff rotation to increase morale in wars of sections. This is a very odd request and was the subject of further investigation. Other localized anomalies such as better health, greater job satisfaction, and lower fatalities in this section have led to the request being granted. The subject is now closed, on orders of O5. Addendum 343-3 Data recovered on From routine check of Dr. Network Drive Document 343-1A As of, visitors of SCP-343 are to be questioned as to their intent and converse. Questions pertaining to other SCP are to be put forth. Orders of Doctor. Document 343-1B. Apparently, my orders have gone missing. This is the last straw, Doctor. All my reports and requests to higher ups have gone unnoticed. I will confer on the SCP-343 tomorrow. Signed, Doctor. End log. 
According to GOC manuals, reality vendors are classified as type green humanoid trade entities. Type green entities go through four phases of increase in consciousness and power development. Anomaly 343 appears to be in phase 3, attempting to live a relatively normal and routine life. GOC directives indicate that these entities should be monitored closely, but it is often best not to intervene as long as they do not pose a threat to the fivefold goal. However, the entity also appears to exhibit levels of omniscience, or at least a more advanced level of consciousness and premonition, which would make it difficult to stop it if it advances to phase 4. As for the SCP Foundation, it seems they have not been able to contain the entity, but they at least serve as a tool to keep it stable and distracted. Although the later parts of the document suggest that the situation is not under their control, or at least not as much as they believe, if the entity remains stable, or even if it is who it claims to be, its attitude does not pose a threat to the fivefold goal. Nonetheless, the GOC has tried teams at the ready that have previously dealt with type green class entities. Having information about this anomaly help us to better understand and be prepared for the potential catastrophe that SCP-343 represents. Help us continue in preparing against unknown threats by leaving your suggestions for future entries in the comment section below. I am Virostris Anonimo, we at the GOC, you have been informed.